Hey everybody, standing ovation back again with another break. I got my first box, 2122 Skybox Metal Universe. Came out actually a week ago as of the me making this video. It's, uh, yeah, it took me a while to get my, my allocation, but I did participate in a few group breaks on the release day, so that went fairly well. I'll be waiting for those to come in the mail in the next day or two too. But uh, in the meantime, I did get myself uh, not one, but two boxes. Two boxes, uh, and I'm going to rip the first one right here now. Uh, what uh, you don't know about Skybox Metal that you probably already know because, you know, everybody else has ripped it already. Uh, I can't tell you a whole lot more other than what I learned from the website. And it's basically a 200-card set. First 100 cards, base cards. The next 100 cards are SP cards. SP being like one in every three packs, I think it said. Um, and those SPs are alternate jersey photos or the rookies. So, um, yeah, and then they paralleled all of that. And, uh, well, again, the parallels, I think, are mostly in the retail. But... Uh, if you're really looking for the PMGs, the precious metals, gems, rubies, and emeralds. Uh, there's also purples, which are the retro uh, versions. They're numbered out of 199. The other ones are numbered out of 100. Unless it's an emerald, then it's numbered out of 10. And the way they do those is the first 10 of the 100 are the emeralds. So they're all numbered out of 100. It's just the first 10 are numbered, are actually green as opposed to emerald. Uh, then, yeah, so you're no guarantee on those in a case or in a box. I don't know what the case break is. I've heard people ripping a case saying they get anywhere from three to five pmgs in a box but five sounds like a lot i think you're only going to get maybe three in a case on average uh then each box each one of these boxes when you break it open you're going to get one acetate insert which actually the metal picks is you know it says metal picks it's an acetate die cut insert and or the ice carvings which are uh, one in 25 and the picks are one in 38 uh there's five regular inserts which are all pretty much die cuts there's the cheddar amped up uh planted ice it's pitter patters those are the fighters or the the bruisers um those are actually 175 packs so we'll see how much hobby love they get i like the idea it's kind of the tartan pattern on the background of the card um the chatter those are the cool ones i like but they're pretty easy hits and a lot, a lot of people like die cut inserts i don't know it's all because they don't star well i think i don't know I think they all look kind of neat and they got the old basketball die cut inserts again the big man on the court but they're a big man on the ice championship galaxy uh, neon icons. Neon icons are the glow-in-the-dark uh, gimmicky things. The gloves and the sticks and the skates, I think, are highlighted. And they turn off the lights and they glow in the dark. Uh, the big ones you're looking for, though, are the, the precious metals, obviously. Color match of the Red Wings. I've seen, like, a Lucas Raymond for a numbered out of 100. Already going for over 500 just for the regular rookie. So, kind of big bucks on those. Uh, platinum portraits are always the big, big, big hit. One in 100, 920 packs. The Jambalayas and the Metal X's are the other bigger hits. Metal X's are probably the easiest of them all to hit. One in 240 packs. They're really thick stock. They look kind of like metal, but they're not. And Jambalayas. Everybody loves Jambalayas. Uh, the original die cut. Hard to hit. One per 720. I know I've hit one before. In, uh, I think it was Fleer Retro 2012-13. I hit one. Uh, and yeah, that's where you got the first sniff of Metal Universe from the Retro 97-98. Remember they did it in 12-13 Fleer Retro. Uh, I still got a bunch of those somewhere. Anyway, that's a long time ago now. Let's get to this year's, which costs about half the price as last year's. But again, they, I think they make twice as, twice as much. Watered it down a little bit and be twice as much. So it's like uh, about half the price. Then again, too, the rookies are all the PMGs in this year. Last year it was the veteran PMGs and more all-stars. So we'll see how the hobby holds. But, you know, your rookies in the 21-22 class are also what you're looking for. Cole Caulfield and, and uh, Zegris and... Uh, all the like. I don't have my knife handy. Oh my gosh. Hold on a sec. I will find a knife. Ah, trusty Swiss Army came in handy here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Play this song for your kids and see how they react. Sorry, I was watching TikTok videos. That's kind of funny. Some kids got the moves. Oh, I got the upside down packs box. I don't know. I've seen a lot of these. Looks like these early production box maybe is an indication. Or maybe they'll all be like that. But all the packs are upside down. Shall I stay with it? Let's just go with it. Uh, again, if you want to look at the hobby odds, there's a lot of information on there that may or may not be of some use. I don't know if I'm holding that still or can you read it? Here's the other half. Hopefully it was somewhat useful. I didn't just waste five seconds of your time there. All right, well, let's spin them around and make them go. Actually, I like to mix up my packs because I don't know one want I don't even want to know about sequencing. Let's do the old 
free card money style of shuffling. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on anymore. My eyes are closed. I'm not watching. Okay, that's enough. Stop it now. Quit it. Don't do it anymore. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. First pack. 2122 medal for standing ovation. Thanks for uh, joining in, folks. If you don't mind, tap the like button and subscribe because I break all day long, every day, all the time. Actually, that's not true. I try to break videos and then post them daily, and eventually that'll run out as my ability to do that will eventually subside. But I'm on a streak. I've been going every day since October, so check out all my videos and come on back tomorrow. And if you see something you like here, check me out on eBay. Standing ovation is what I go by there. Obviously, I've been there a lot longer than here. But anyway, let's see. I'm excited a little bit. Maybe a little bit too excited. They're just hockey cards, I know. But you could hit PMG. This is, like I say, I like this product because it's for, you know, anywhere from 150 to 200 bucks a box Canadian, depending on what part of Canada you're in. You got a shot at hitting a five-figure card, really, what it comes down to. And uh, as I was recording this, I can see that I've already hit uh, Carey Price one-on-one -on -one autograph, PM, uh, just the gold auto PMG parallel. I don't know which one it is. And the McDavid one of one have already been hit. And the Cole Caulfield PMG Gold one of one's already been hit. Some guy in Quebec was lucky enough to hit that on within hours of the product's opening day. So unless he snuck out early and got a couple of cases and just waited till the uh, release date to show it to the world. But yeah, that was a bit of a letdown because I had Montreal <laughs> on a break day of, of a group break and a couple of different breaks. And I still did well with Montreal, but I was like, you know, the wind's taken out of your sail, and you know the big one's gone. Like, I was really expecting to hit it myself, you know. I've never hit a one-of-one one at all in any product, ever. So, there's something I can look forward to. Hopefully, do it in front of you. Uh, do it on video in front of, with y'all, joining in to share my joy. Okay, let's get on with this. Braden Point, Crosby. Caulfield, right on. Start off the bat with the best rookie, in my opinion. Of the 21-22 crop is the Habs always have hobby love and he's quite the player. Anyway, there's a uh, base card back and the front kind of a colorful foily design, susceptible to damage. So be careful with these ones, folks. And there's the Caulfield rookie card. Why not get a Crosby ultimate? Oh, oh, what a first pack! Right on. I got the Caulfield base card rookie, just a regular base rookie. I read a bit about him. And you can see how they show every little tiny flaw on them, though. So you got to be careful with these puppies, even putting them into the penny sleeves. I like that, though. And I've got a, I can tell I got a cheddar card. Let's look at the cheddar. The cheddar. I got penguins all over this pack, too. Moritz Seider. First cheddar of the hit. And it's a very cheesy card. Oh, man. Hold on. Yeah, it smells like Limburger, I think. Oh, maybe that's just. Moritz cider skates somehow coming through. Cancel on the back base. Let's keep that SP alternate jersey and a rookie. So you get two SPs in a pack. I don't think that's normal. And a retro. No, that's not a retro. That's just a base. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out of control. But that's kind of cool. Numbered 150. Numbered 100. Right on. That's a neat start there with the Design of Retro Deserties. I got my SP and then my base. Okay, let's carry on. And of course, the cheesy cheddar. Build yourself a wheel of cheddar. I never underestimate the power of a cheddar wheel. Because actually, I have a cousin over in Ireland that makes cheddar cheese and uh, wheels of cheddar. And they, some people pay a lot of money for their cheese, let me just tell you about it. I never knew you could make a very, very fine living selling cheese. If you know how to make good cheese, that is. Matthew to Chuck. Adam Fox. The foxy one. And here's our first retro design. Nils Lundqvist. This 97-98 design was always popular. And again, this was in the 12-13 design. And last year's too, I think. But again, the rookies are this year, as far as I understand. Last year was veterans. So there's the Lundqvist. Retro design. Although I don't think... Yeah, Nils Lundqvist, he's a rookie. doesn't say rookie on those cards. Suzuki, Stoner, Yari, New York, Rookie. See, like it says, there's a little rookie, co rookie card puck logo there. And that one doesn't. Why? Why? Why ask why? Okay, let's carry on. 
carrying on. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so in this product launch, I had the option. I, I managed to get in a couple breaks, and I bought a 16-box case break. I had both Detroit and uh, Montreal, which cost uh, equivalent of about four boxes. So it was like, what would you have done? Would you bought Montreal and Detroit, or would you bought four boxes? I was on the fence as to which I do, because I was planning on buying about four boxes. Anyway, I'll let you know how that turned out when I get the package in the mail, because uh, it's probably, I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see as prices are settling down as to how well I did. But let's just say I didn't hit any PMG reds, although I did hit a PMG purple of one of the players. Oh, I got a ton of cards. Holy cow, did I get a ton of Detroit Red Wings. Maybe not so many on the Canadians. Anyway, that's enough. Let's just get back to this break. Clayton Keller base card. Sean Monahan. I got the Planet Ice die cut. Okay, well, there's Speak of the Devil. That's one of the cards I actually hit. So now I have a parallel of the Planet Metal die cut. Cole Caulfield rookie insert. Cool. It's not a bad card to have two of. This is number 24. I don't know how many Planet Metals are in the batch. But right off the bat, a Red Wing. And I have a Montreal Canadian hit, so it's kind of funny. I'm staying with my team selection on the breaks I did. Monaghan, base. Josie, base. Hagen, Yandel, and Dolan, rookie. I like how this is going so far. Yeah. Again, not everybody likes the die cuts. I am not a, I've, I've been, I mean, I've, I've never had a problem with them. Remember the 97, 98 Upper Deck 3 Star Selects were a bit of a problem because they didn't punch out the little sides there and you never knew if you got an insert if you pull those pieces out or keep them as a mint card still in there. Anybody else remember that? I'm old, sorry. Tavares, Heiskanen. There's another die cut. This one's Getzlaff. The big man on ice. It's funny, I just seen somebody post on the, one of the groups online there that they got one of these of... Uh, I can't remember who the player was. It was Winnipeg Jet Guy, and the, it's upside down on the back. And the caption was like, you had one job. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it's kind of a neat card. Anyway, I like those. And again, not as excited. Some people are not as excited. I have no problems with these die-cut inserts. I think they're looking at cool. Hart, Kaprizov, Ben, and, oh, crap. Paranovich, and I almost destroyed. Okay, so, here's my, uh, camera looking there so far there's three of the five you're expected to hit for inserts right i've still got two of the big ones or what is it two one one of the big ones what was that breakdown again i can't remember what it said you're gonna the box breakdown you're gonna get well, it said one hit well either an autograph a pmg or a jump lyle so they're gonna get one of those in the box and one acetate so i haven't hit any of the big ones yet the 97 98 cards you're gonna get three of them Three of them. Five inserts. Okay, so I got one of the 97 eights, three of the inserts, and on my way to the next one. Yanni Gourd, Connie, Connor Hellebuck, Kucherov, Gallagher, Beckman, rookie, Brock Besser, alternate jersey. It's the neat Canucks, green and blue. And we got a prospects of Philip Gustafsson. Where is he now? Uh, Minnesota? Yeah, he's like, what does the, my man Dynasty call him? The Gus Bus. I guess that's his nickname? I don't know. I just heard him call him the Gus Bus. That guy's a funny guy. Dynasty Breaker. Okay, so there's my first one of them. And my second prospect, or my SP there. So let's carry on with the spot. Let's just make a second roll. Why don't we? Why don't we? Let's. Let's have a look inside this pack. We got P Boy, Patterson, Stamkos, Guy Boss, a hole in the alternate SP jersey. And I got a first, or my, my first rookie of the retro design, Swayman. Yes, Swayman. I like them retro designs. We'll see how his card stock changes in the playoffs when Boston starts to play off again although i hope the leafs will put him out so we'll see i'm a leafs fan not a not a bruins fan sorry well where am i putting this 
I'm putting this in the right pile. No, I've lost my system totally. I don't know what's going on. Like that, and like that. There we go. I'm okay now. Well, let's see. Forsberg and Ranton. Okay, carry on. Carry on. Move along. Move along, please. Okay, we got there's McDavid, base card. Have Felino. Nick Felino. Jay Theodore. I got a pitter patter. Better get at her. Brendan Smith. The tartan design. Very, very much. Let's do it. Let's drop them. You want to go? You want, huh? You want some of this? Okay. Carlson. Eberly. Pajot. And Peter Patter. I like the, uh, I like the idea. One in 72 packs, too. They're not super common, but, of course, they're not going to be your superstar Hall of Fame goal scorers. A long time ago, the PA made an agreement with the card makers that they wouldn't show blood or fighting or aggressiveness on the cards. So that's the best you're going to get for a bruiser's fighter's subset. The fact that they even allowed that, I'm surprised. But they did. Mitch Marner. And again, it's more like a portrait shot. Like, that's such a nice looking man. You think he would kick the crap out of you wearing hockey skates? Just wait till you lace him up and piss him off, boys. You don't want Brendan Smith pissed off at you. That's my thoughts on the matter. Marner, Doughty. Oh, there's our hit. Addison, rookie auto. Pretty good one to get, too. There you go, Mr. Dynasty Central. I know you're a Minnesota boy. Kaylin Addison, rookie autograph number two. Let's put her down. It's two ninety nine, dollars I think. Oh, it's upside down. Let's read it this way. $1.99 of $2.99. All right. Well, good thing they, uh, they got that in there. A little C and an A. A little schwerb of an auto. You sign your checks with that thing? Oh, oops, sorry. I'm, gonna be, I'm critical of guys who don't take the time to sign their cards. I just, if I was famous enough to have an autograph, I'd want to make everybody go, wow, look at that. Okay. There's Uka Pekka Ukenen, The Sabres netminder. Sabres having quite the year, too. Yeah, check out my uh, Sabres stuff. I know I've been flogging Dylan Cousins Future Watch cards. I got a bunch graded, a bunch of them graded. I hit, a, I hit one in the break there not too long ago, and then I checked out what I could do for getting them graded, and I ended up just buying them graded already. So, yeah, PSA 9s and 10s of uh, Dylan Cousins, at least right now. I also got, I think I got a Robertson from Future Watch there, but anyway, I'm way off topic. This is metal. I don't have a whole lot of metal from last year. Actually, I have nothing in the way of metal from last year. Petrie, Ehlers, Cheddar number two, new hook. I like getting the rookies. It's cool. Two rookie cheddar cheesy cards. Another rookie, Spencer Knight, base rookie. Not sure where he ended up. If he's playing a lot with Florida this year, or if he's just taking a back bench, or down in the minors. Goodrow, Olafson, Merzlikens. Yeah, because of course they got. Um, Oh, and Bobrovsky there in Florida, don't they? I can't remember who else is in Florida. Yeah, Roberto Longo. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. John, Fitz, John Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Or, or Bees, John Van Beesbrook. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Oh, okay. I'm old. Maybe Fitzpatrick. Mark Fitzpatrick. He played there. Hamilton. Bergeron. Marcus. Oh, wait. Rasmus Kupari. Rookie. Here's the last rookie retro. It kind of looks like an emerald, but it's not. It's just the uh, greenish background. Cool. Melkin, Kane, and PLD. Pierre Luc Dubois. All right. Still looking for uh, one more big hit. One more big hit, please. One more juicy, goosey goosey. What's it going to be? Grubauer. Somebody asked about cracking goalies there too on a, on a chat group I was watching the other day. Toffoli. There's another big man on ice. The Craws. That's cool. I got two good ones there. Getzlaff, future Hall of Famer, and Crosby. Another future Hall of Famer. There's Josh Bailey. Austin Matthews, Shesterkin, and Radish. The rookie is Radish. 
Scottish rookie, now with the Hawks. I know I got uh, SP Game Use, the last Upper Deck product came out. I hit the uh, draft marks. R for Radish, probably the best letter to hit. They're all numbered out of 35. I don't know which one's the best. But there's Ryan O'Reilly. There's Temi Panarin. Oh, 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 it's a Pix. Who we get? Who we get? Oh, yeah. Nice. Again, people don't love the acetate, but you could actually play guitar with A.O. Alexander Ovechkin right there. Well, I don't know if anybody uses a pick that big, but, you know, they might. They might, Rabbit. They might. Uh, you might, Rabbit. You might. Mark Shifley, Backstrom, Zegris. Oh, there's the base card. Go with that one. And Panarin. Oh, wait, what happened there? Zegris. Oh, Zegris, the rookie. Yeah, I forgot. This is 21-22, and that's my rookie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what's hiding in these last three packs? I think I got my box hits now, my rookie and my, my picks. So it's all just, uh, who knows? Who knows? Something might pop out of one of these and surprise us. Surprise me. Surprise you. Surprise everybody. A little bit of color would be cool. Let's go this way. Giroux, Carlson, Gibson. Amped up. It's kind of a the most plain insert since like early Fleer Ultra days. Yeah, not too a big fan of the amped up. I guess it's supposed to be a speaker, maybe. Whatever. Pasternak, Perone, and Marchand. I think I left the comment somewhere that it's like they made some really cool decisions on design here, but this one was made when they it was take your child to work day and everybody was paying attention to something else and they just Yep, that's the one. Let's go. Let's everybody go home. I bet you it's something like that. Yeah. How could you have, like, some of the best-looking inserts and then something so meh? I don't know. That's the way it works with metal. And this new, yeah, 22-23 will be out, like, within a couple months, too, from what I hear. Nisho Hish, Nisho Heaker. Nico Heischer. Jonathan Taves. Kale McCarr. Another Nico Heischer. That's cool. I like getting both versions. Let's do that there with that. Prospects. Robin Salvo. Non-numbered. I guess there are numbered versions of those. Josh Bailey and Vazzy. Last pack of the break. Thanks for watching, everybody. I go have another one of these coming up in the near future. And uh, in the meantime, who knows what's breaking tomorrow. I've been doing some football lately. Could be basketball. I know i got some baseball that have broken, too. But we'll see. Check back tomorrow to see what's there. Can't really say for sure right now. Plus, I don't know what date I'm launching this as a may bump the order of my other videos and put this one out earlier or maybe i'll just let it go sometime in feb we'll see brett burns nathan mckinnon okay we'll go over this way rasmus Dahlin, ryan getzlaff duncan keith jake neighbors rookie card very neighborly burnsy mckinnon and joey vanilleno for the prospects rookie right on okay well there we go i think that's my hit of the box these two being close runners up. And I had a mole. There's my fave. Fave hits. I like the pitter powders. And uh, yeah, I'd say probably in that order. Somewhere. I don't know what order that is. What I'm trying to say here is. I got the alternates there, okay. And the rookies and the base. So I don't know what order, but those are my f my six favorite hits from this box. Yeah. All right. Thanks again for watching, folks. Standing ovation out.